Hello everyone, welcome to EduTap. Welcome to a very motivating session, right? So I welcome NABAD Grade A officer, Mrs. Smriti Sumanjha. Um, hello, Ritika. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming here on our channel and sharing your strategy. Okay. Um, thank you for having me. <laughs> and we would like to congratulate you for this uh, achievement of yours. You, uh, as we were discussing, you were in a job right you are uh, married and yeah. you uh, you were able to actually uh, get this job also of a grade a officer so this is really a very very big achievement i would say thank you so much thanks once again <laughs> so guys i would i have also mentioned a lot of things about uh, smriti but i'll here tell you uh, very interesting things about her that are going to motivate you even before we start the session right so mrs uh, smriti jha she is an agriculture graduate post graduate actually she has done her graduation and then post graduation in agriculture in 2017 she appeared for a nabard examination the very first time she reached the stage of interview but could not make it she was also preparing for upsc then right after that she was selected through uh, mppsc government job uh, she got and she was there serving as a forest ranger but my dear friends she kept on preparing for nabard examination and today she is here with us in her third attempt in all two attempts she has given interview of nabard and in third attempt the last attempt <laughs> she is now the officer and finally got selected so do you get to know so so many things we are going to discuss she had a job uh, she uh, was working full time pura acche se a gazetted officer wala post she had plus she is married so uh, she managed everything and today here with us so <laughs> i am excited to hear your strategies smriti i'm not used to hearing so many good things about me <laughs> <laughs> in a single day no no day. you you I deserve know. it see because why why am i telling this we have so many students out there who are preparing probably full time theek hai but they have lack of motivation ki time bahut hai but you know i'm not able to ye bhi dena hai wo bhi dena hai so if you can manage so many important things together and still get selected for this post so that means students out there just need to work hard in the right direction so i hope all those things you are going to share with us today yes yes definitely i mean we are so uh, although there was not a set fund i mean as you hmm. said before ki i was working so working me and mine was a completely field job it was like go go it, there, there's no 9 to 5 it's a 24 it was a 24 7 i was staying at the headquarters of my range which is basically on the edge of the forest and then my staff is staying inside the forest so we are handling forest fires poaching cases cases of um, animal man animal conflict and uh, like things are there so uh, we used to get i used to get calls at 2:30 at night uh, if i'm gone i i would come back at maybe 4 a.m. 6 a.m. so sometimes like that but uh, apart from that uh, the thing that uh, actually is that uh, even after i got selected i did not stop taking exams all well, I, i would uh, I, i would just um, um, be aware of all the exams that uh, all uh, all the notifications and everything i was there i was um, uh, there on uh, telegram channel so they would be like you oh, this notification has come this notification has come so but although i took a one year break in between after getting selected i was like okay it's been a long i was like kind of feeling burnout uh, burnt out so i took a sabbatical of one year after that again i started preparing ki okay we've taken a year and um, okay it's a good enough job but not uh, like uh, there wasn't uh, much compatibility between my i mean as i'm married so there was the, the, like there, there was no future compatibility between my job and my husband so uh, i was like i had to change into uh, maybe a more stable job that was my question next question to you uh-huh. that uh, probably it would have been asked in your interview also that what motivated you to mm-hmm. being mm-hmm. in a job and that is also a good job right gazetted officer you were so yeah. what motivated you that no you have to shift to uh, this job and that was a that was a, that was a big part of my interview i mean i could say that um, almost 70 to 80% of my interview was this big question why do you want to join nabar why i mean you have a stable job and everything and uh, to be to be very frank in a professional setting you cannot just bring your personal reasons onto the mm. uh, onto front you cannot just tell the interviewer that uh, it's because uh, my um, in laws and my husband is that that's not that, that is there they have to know that i mean they can read it in your bio data so mm. uh, honestly as much as possible that's good 
but you also have to give them a solid reason that you're going to be a good addition to their um, mm. uh, to their organization so my big my biggest uh, uh, thing going for me is that i was an agriculture graduate so a post graduate so i mean I, i was i had i had exposure to the agricultural field and like what the agricultural scenario in india is being in one of the most uh, agriculturally advanced mp is um, agriculturally very forward mm. so i had then i told them i gave them reasons then i told them that nabard also uh, like nabard it's nabard they you have to know that everyone would want to work with them so i made no bones about it ki i really wanted to work and then i told them that i had appeared for it i i would be a good fit for them mm. also i mean just because uh, uh, just like nabard is a good organization i have i told them about my track record uh, as a student as a trainee as an officer so okay matlab uh, what i bring to the table i let them know what i bring what i am bringing to the organization so they were very uh, keen but they were very like you know yours is such an exciting they were also saying yours is such an was like sir it is too exciting for me uh-huh. <laughs> it's too exciting for me uh, so they uh, they were saying ki what happens when we come to so they were like jovial also after the interview got over so they were like making jokes ki what happens now if you want to go to the forest and like sir i'll make sure that uh, you get uh, a good uh, treatment card so first of all you have to let the organization know what you as a person you as an employee are bringing to the table what's your brag how is your background going to help how is your work ex going to help how i told them how my experience as a forest ranger is going to help uh, is going to help nabard i mean for the past 3 years i've been living in a village living in amongst amongst the people getting to know their problems and it's not just people we have a lot of schemes are there which are there for farmers also so there's the for example i let them know about schemes uh, so key one example is there the state bamboo mission where the farmers we specifically have to go to talk to farmers big farmers small farmers and it is for their uh, benefit so and from then on that conversation so firstly you have to let the organization know what you bring then then uh, th- then they would be like ki uh, will you uh, then they also asked me ki will you be preparing like further they they asked me i was like ki sir everyone is there i, mean, I then also i was honest they're there with 30 40 plus years of right. experience uh, they can they will know when you're bluffing it's it's no there's no use bluffing be as honest i mean that was my funda uh, whatever the preparation in the interview room it, it goes all blank when you once you're sitting at the, ah, right. at the table so so the very first thing that should you should not bluff your way through an interview that would be my suggestion if someone mm. is good at it uh, if someone is that, that is their strategy kudos to you but that would that was not mine personally so uh, that was their uh, they asked me what uh, and how 80% of my interview was like what is your job uh, what do you do and how is it going to help and what will you what uh, uh, teachings you are bringing there mm-hmm. and uh, how is it shaped you so that was there so i prepared thoroughly uh, for my interview i prepared thoroughly about my job what exactly is my um, with the, like how do you answer it i know what my job is but how do i tell you in a right. professional setting right Uh, i cannot just tell you sir i do this i stay here and all mm. that so I, uh, that that preparation is very important that mm. preparation is important so that is so this this brings me to a very important uh, uh, thing about you actually yeah. <laughs> we were discussing earlier so uh, first of all Uh, whenever we are t- uh, talking to students no who are preparing who are aspirants or want to appear in the examination we tell them as their guides or mentors that you know why should be clear in your mind uh-huh. that why am i going for this so smriti said that her why was very clear mm-hmm. she was an agriculture graduate so she has cleared the examination in agriculture stream only that is uh, first thing you guys have to know right so she knew that this is a job which is quite fit for me second smriti is married as she as she said so she is married to an rbi grade b officer this is also a very interesting thing about her and she knew that compatibility as a forest ranger with an rbi officer won't be there so she chose nabard so that was her why she was very clear on her why but also you have to take this learning the students out there she mentioned very beautifully that your personal reasons cannot be the sole reason right you have to tell the organization that what are you going to bring so it can be education also what have you done as a student all those things so these are the learnings that we want you to know from a topper like her right so uh, wonderful experience i am having to mujhe to i am feeling you know bahut mujhe maza aa raha hai to tell us tell us something more about your preparation you know how did you manage your preparation 
Okay, uh, so again, uh, uh, at the risk of sounding redundant, so uh, no timetable as such. I'm not going to encourage people to not have a timetable, but mine was because uh, if somebody is uh, familiar with the workings of the forest department, they would know that there is no uh, nine to five in this uh, field. Uh, right from the top IFS people to the state service people to the guards who uh, have it. So there's no nine to five as such. You just have to eke out time whenever you get it. So, I mean, and on the bright side of it, there's no, uh, there's no, uh, there's no compulsion to go to an office. I mean, I although I have an office and I have to sign papers every day, but there's no compulsion for me to go. At my office, since I lived uh, uh, in my headquarters, so my office was just next to my uh, quarters. I was living in the official quarters. So uh, people would be aware how official government quarters, line quarters, um, staff and all, they live uh, in these places. So my office was just next door. So if there was a, how I managed my time was that if I were was on the field one day and like, since I cannot uh, have any time, too tired to do anything so next day i would i would make sure that i was uh, like uh, uh, not not go to the office maybe i uh, get the papers from there or maybe go to the office for one hour because the like uh, not go to the field every day or not go three four days in a row maybe alternate it with something so that so since there is no compulsion to be in the office like just to be physically present in the office i could manage it with my uh, on the phone with my other staff and all so that was one advantage so i would be there then that day i would i would uh, uh, do my preparation Preparation was basically me going through my, um, uh, since I'm an agriculture, like, uh, my, I, first of all, I uh, became very aware about the syllabus, very, become very thorough with the syllabus, what exactly is there and all. And um, also the thing that I had given the exam previously. So that thing was also there. Ki I kind of had an idea. First hand, I kind of had an idea first hand, ki what kind of questions ki, uh, can come and all. So uh, that was there. Um, and since there are so many books and such a vast syllabus, I cannot go through them subjective, like subjective books, I cannot go through them. So what I did was I picked out uh, three, four objective, uh, objective uh, books, uh, question banks that are very famous there. That is there like the uh, Bible for uh, agriculture graduates for competitive exams, basically. So if you want me, I could tell them, but yes. agriculture student, nah. So uh, there's uh, objective agriculture by SR Kantwa is one. Hmm. Then uh, uh, a name Raj, then there is this uh, name Raj Sundaga book is there. Uh, it, it's a small and it covers all the subjects in a very precise manner. It's a small, very, um, it's not even a thick book there. So these two were my go-to books. I would come back and uh, put the objectives. And then if I had to go back to my theory, uh, then I would check the uh, Sundawala book. And uh, it's not there for just, just Nabadwala exams. Other competitive exams, if you're uh, going for agriculture, these two books you have to, because they cover such a vast number of questions and vast subjects, everything is covered. And apart from that, there are other uh, IGKV, I'm not, um, Sharma, Aresh Sharma, the book is there. Three, four books are there. And I think that covers the whole of the syllabus in a way. And then there is internet. Then there is, uh, there's always internet. I am a very liberal user of uh, uh, internet. And I would be like, I would read the book if I did not, if I was not recollecting something or if I was not understanding something, then I would go in, in its depth. I would, uh, uh, so um, July, May, the form last year, the uh, July end May, the forms came, notification came and the exam was held in September. It got delayed by a month. So that was also there. So I took, uh, uh, I would uh, stay at home. Maybe if I was home early, then I would uh, do two, three hours at night. Or if I had to uh, be in the field later in the afternoon, then I would eke out in the morning. Uh, mornings, I, I would usually, that is there, I forgot. Mornings, I would get up early, not very early, I say six or seven. So, and then I would, I would try to get two hours out of the morning every day. Even if I had to go to office or if I had to go to the field, uh, I would, I would religiously take two hours out of it every day so that at least there's something in your mind to fall back on. Even mm. if you're not able to get back to it in the night, uh, you're there at least two hours were utilized and internet phone uh, phone pay um, there's always internet so if i was free even if i was in the field and if i was free i would think of something maybe look it up and then go through it in the field and all uh, i downloaded a couple of pdfs uh, maybe pdfs of the same book that i was reading then go through it uh, that was the same straight strategy in um, for mains also this was my uh, pre and for mains also Mains may uh, they changed the pattern this year, so they were uh, it was more um, subjective uh, this time. So then uh, for that I had to uh, for the agriculture part I lessened the time because the uh, from the pre a lot of uh, it came uh, up to mains also, and then I uh, started. Uh, Concentrating on the management, uh, ESI wala part is there, management and finance is there, also English. So English is, uh, English has been 
kind of a strong point with me so i did not uh, really have to do it every day every day every day just look at templates of uh, good essays and good uh, prissy get them and then try to uh, uh, hold on to the word count so that was my funda um a vocabulary as such i have uh, like it's a, it's an apt vocabulary it's uh, like i'm okay with english i was comfortable with english so for english i i your mark one week before the examination and i was like uh, go through but if you're english if you're not comfortable with english i would not suggest doing this i would i would suggest you be regular with it um since i was a bit confident so i was like okay let's leave it let's do the management management and finance part i was completely lost i had like i did not know much so that was what i was constantly try to gather material from uh, telegram to, uh, this thing uh, internet and in general maybe ask uh, friends and all whatever they were uh, so they 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 helped me with that and um, that was the means ka strategy also english may try to just know the main points and be i was religious with the word count hmm. 10% here and there that was my uh, and people were coming and asking i mean uh, uh, people uh, friends who had given the exam so they were asking after the mains they were asking like how uh, well uh, how within the limit were you with the word count and i was like i even i i took care i was very strict with my word count i was like to 10% here and there plus minus is there allow maybe 5% that is there but not a whole lot so people were like ki 300 ka word count tha i am i finished in 250 do you think it has an effect i was like i don't know if it has an effect or not i mean mujhe kaise i'm not the one i'm i'm not the invigilator i don't really know what's going to happen but for me if you're asking me try to stick to the word word count mm-hmm. if it's 300 290 would do 310 would do 310 words would do so that, that is there you can play around with it it's not 300 mm-hmm. exactly so that was my strategy for english and uh, then for finance and all i just gathered stuff from here and there uh with stuck to the syllabus stuck to the syllabus syllabus like, like whatever is there that only i read because i did not have much time hmm. uh, time was also of the essence i was not getting it and uh, that was there for agriculture again the same strategy my books uh, whatever books were there so i went through it again and that is how that was uh, smriti i have to ask you one thing here uh mm-hmm. you mentioned finance management uh-huh. so uh, did you i am confused here actually did you give grade b examination uh, i i also ha 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 i also appeared for uh, grade b yeah 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 uh-huh. that is why because okay. we <laughs> <laughs> right okay. because when you were telling no so i was like i think we have missed out something here so you appeared in grade b also yeah yeah i appeared for right. the grade a both the pre and mains are for grade b i did not clear the um uh, mains okay right not able so to you gave both the examinations yeah. and uh, got selected grade a yeah, right yeah. <laughs> okay yeah. that is why because i was like hey, in the, even in agriculture stream i know fm is not there for that I, i got kind of confused i was just uh, because i was not i was not yes. preparing for grade a and grade b separately, separately. because esi is there and right. uh, then agriculture is there and uh, rural the ard is there so right right so i had to just prepare everything together for, yeah for uh, grade b i had to prepare financial so analysis. basically this is another point that you had this like fm separately you had to yeah, study yeah. Yes, yes, so yes, you yes. were studying these subjects also theek hai so that is again a motivating factor actually that you know taking both the exams and because usually people leave out grade b because of that extra subject of fm Haan. right so uh, we can discuss on that also actually <laughs> um, if we get time we'll see yeah, but sure. but i want to know about actually your preparation of esi majorly okay. because being a specialist uh mm-hmm. being appeared in the specialist exam agriculture still people have hold if they have the, yeah. have the background yes. right quant yes. reasoning they will prepare that okay mm-hmm. this is a competitive uh-huh. exam uh-huh. i have to go english is also fine but esi usually i have seen people who are not generalist they are afraid of it and uh-huh. you know how how to cover what to cover so just few tips if you can give on that um a newspapers were there although i was not i mean uh, i did not really have access to hard cover newspapers because uh, idam pura fresh wala publication wahan pe nahi aata you don't get english newspapers there there's only hindi and that's not going to help you with the exam so i had e subscriptions uh, for uh, that so i was but uh, again with newspapers the thing is that you cannot just start when the notification comes or you cannot just start one month before your exam and hope to cover all the matlab it's like they're going to ask you exam is in august they're going to ask you something that happened in uh, january maybe happened in february so uh, you get uh, so uh, sites are there 
so uh, most of it was like internet and then um, uh, like uh, telegram channels they give you compendiums of monthly uh, mm. important um, esi and all so that is that is what i covered for esi schemes and all the like uh, mostly uh, telegram channels i downloaded down the uh, the uh, whatever they would send ki skill government schemes ka alag se uh, maybe uh, different department wise uh, schemes also they have mm. so and monthly why month wise uh, G- gk ka excuse me uh, so gk ka that was there so esi that is how i prepared although a uh, little little was going on all the time because i was actually appearing for uh, just just throughout i was appearing for exam so i was not never actually out of touch um with that whole thing so i always there was always this pressure that uh, i was uh, preparing for one exam or the other so it was not like ki um the notification came and then i started preparing for esi mm. because uh, i was doing it little by little little by little not very uh, seriously or something but uh, then little by little so that is what uh, everyone has to keep in mind anyone to matlab just uh, just, just a thing that anyone who's preparing na never let go hmm. never uh, that is what i did basically uh, that is what i did i never uh, i filled up all the forms that was my thing i was like i i did not get oh, i i got selected as nabard a part if you were to know the number of exams that i have not been selected that's a long long list so but if you were to ask me what is that much of like if i have something to tell you then that would be key just just don't uh, that is also i suggest to my friends also who are right now preparing for exams and all so uh, as you said like there's that there's that some conscious thing is there that oh are we agreed be is too uh, high profile for me or uh, upsc how can i give upsc i'm preparing for a state psc that that, that that should not be there an exam is an exam just take it as as an exam fill up all the forms hmm. that would be my suggestion fill up all the forms when you fill up a form that uh, that thing bugs you i hmm. always think that i i filled up a form so willingly or unwillingly you will आज मेरा पढ़ाई का मन नहीं है काइंड ऑफ लेट गो एग्जाम आई लाइक कि एकदम ही नहीं हो रहा एकदम ही नहीं हो रहा तो इट वुड बी एंड इट वुड बी काइंड ऑफ मतलब बुरा लगेगा कि यू शुड नॉट जस्ट यू शुड फिल अप एग्जाम्स एंड यू शुड सेट फॉर देम बट if you feel like it if you are completely not feeling up to it or there are some logistical there was one exam that i filled up and i had prepared also but wo job ke aade aage i was not able to get leaves and everything so that was there and uh, um, so i was not able to give that exam one exam was there where uh, although it was okay okay late aayega aa raha aa raha aa raha preparation was not there not up to it maybe i was like, not feeling you don't feel like studying ये कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है इट्स नॉट लाइक मैं यहाँ पे मेरा सिलेक्शन हो गया तो मैं सबको बोलूँ कि नहीं पूरे टाइम पढ़ते रहो पूरे टाइम पढ़ते रहो नहीं जरूरी नहीं है देर आर सो मेनी ऑफ डेज देर आर कि मतलब कभी आप छह घंटे पढ़ लोगे लोग नेक्स्ट डे यू लाइक यार हो गया आज नहीं मन कर रहा शुड ऑलवेज डोंट गेट बर्न आउट डोंट गेट बर्न आउट दैट इज देर ए एक्चुअली ना इट्स अ वेरी फाइन बैलेंसिंग एक्ट दैट यू हैव टू डू it's it's there and it is it sounds difficult but once you've done it now ek ek ab mera ye hai ki main ab is par aa chuki hu exam ke to ab mere kehne par fir people uh, i have also listened to a lot of uh, these uh, interviews and seen a lot of them and i was like oh they had it easy or oh, unke sath ye tha aisa tha i have been there you don't really um, connect with the people who are until and unless you're selected and until and unless you feel that तो यू हंड्रेड परसेंट आप कनेक्ट नहीं कर पाओगे कम्प्लीटली नेचुरल थिंग बट यू हैव टू फाइंड दैट वन थिंग दैट वर्क फॉर यू फॉर मी इट वॉज बैलेंसिंग अगर मेरा दो दिन पढ़ाई नहीं हो रहा है तो आई वु मेक श्योर की तीसरे दिन मैं कुछ भी करे कुछ भी करके इफ इट्स नॉट वर्किंग तीसरे दिन मैं पढ़ू ओके ठीक है मैंने एक एग्जाम मतलब किसी भी कारण से नहीं दिया है फॉर इट बट आई नॉट फीलिंग इट इन माई हार्ट नहीं दिया मैंने एग्जाम मेक श्योर की नेक्स्ट जो नेक्स्ट फॉर्म भरा है मैंने देन दैट वुड बी लाइक यू जस्ट गो फॉर इट कुछ भी है सो so for me it was all about balancing, balancing. and i think for everyone else also yahi wali baat ho jati hai ki aap kaise ba- kaise balance kar rahe ho work work matlab find the thing that works for you hmm. 
kind of thing that works for you so so this is a very important suggestion i would say important se zyada suggestion that is going to work for you actually a practical yes. suggestion i would say that you need to find out find out kaise balance karna hai you know mm-hmm. that if you are working to if you did not study one day try to take take out time next day if you have let's say many exams uh, approaching in and you are not able to give seriously sare exams to pick out ki acha ye to de do fir exactly. so that, that is a very i would say practical suggestion aisa nahi hai that you know you were right when you said that every day i am studying if i am studying ye main nahi bol sakti there are days but then at the end of the day wohi motivation has to be there ki acha ye nahi to ye na this i have to do ha so this is i think priorities here yes. comes that you have to prioritize kahan pe kya karna hai theek hai so that was lovely and you you told us that how you know you took out time with your job off days kaise you managed mm-hmm. your studies so uh, did you take full length mock tests also for these like uh, to to acquaint yourself with the examination uh, free wale the kuch kuch there were some available on the net just to uh, uh, the kuch kuch like i would just type in nabard grade a mock test or nabard like whatever free to kuch kuch free dete hain तो वेर एवर आई कुड फाइंड आई वुड टेक दम बट इन दैट वुड ऑल्सो डिपेंड टाइम मतलब मेरे साथ सबसे ज्यादा वो टाइम की प्रॉब्लम वेन एवर आई वॉज इन द मूड मे बी मे बी आई एम टू टायर तो जब भी मेरे को जो भी फ्री वाले मिले आई वॉज मैंने एक्चुअली इफ पीपल थिंक इफ पीपल आर ऑस्किंग द रीजन वाई आई डिड नॉट एनरोल तो इन एनी लाइक फोर्स बिकॉज फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग आई वुड नॉट हैव इन एबल टू डू जस्टिस टू इट मतलब आई वुड हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड मतलब कुछ भी मतलब नॉट एबल टू डू उससे उसके सब्जेक्टिव वाले पार्ट पढ़ पाऊंगी पूरे तरीके से बिकॉज सब्जेक्टिव है वो फिर फिर आप अब पूरे के पूरे कितने सारे चार सौ पता नहीं कितने सौ डेढ़ सौ तीन सौ पता नहीं कितने सारे बहुत सारे टेस्ट्स रहते हैं उसमें सब नहीं दे पाऊंगी तो व्हाट्स द यूज ऑफ इट आई 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 वुड जस्ट गो थ्रू कि मतलब पूरा का पूरा पढ़ लिया इफ आई एम फीलिंग कॉन्फिडेंट आई वुड गो ऑन नेट फाइंड अ फ्री टेस्ट दे दो एंड काइंड ऑफ टेक अ टेक कि मतलब देख लो कि क्या प्रिपरेशन है सो दैट वाज इट मैंने इसलिए टेस्ट सीरीज वगैरह ज्वाइन नहीं किया था क्योंकि सब्जेक्टिव पार्ट तो खैर आई एम डूइंग माय माय सेल्फ दैट वाज देयर and wahi hai books books se utha ke matlab materials and all are there um, and then tests i would not have been able to go through 400 tests mein se aapne char tests diye to uh, hmm. i don't see the point of it that was so my basically find out what suits you so if you feel that taking a course i'll not be able to do justice to it to hmm. don't take it on the other yes. end if you feel that you won't be able to find the material you will waste of your time uh-huh. Uh-huh. but you have time to study so fir yes. then you can go for it because you to... find what suits you and uh, i have it's not like for this time i did not take up a test series but i have taken a test matlab maine ek do baar test series liye hain and they work wonders for me matlab preparation ke liye bahut acche rehte hain especially i i love uh, taking tests matlab jo time test wo feel aati hai to matlab it, it's a sort of matlab uh, adventurous type ka rehta hai mere ko test do dekho kitna aaya hai Right. So for for those of you who have time, who have time, and who are going with a single-minded uh, focus, के साथ जा रहे हैं कि maybe uh, maybe someone who is looking at next uh, Nabard का vacancy, hmm. uh, Nabard का recruitment आएगा twenty two में, they are going to prepare for it, whatever it is, I have to. So you can just go for it right now. आप आप बिल्कुल आप बिल्कुल I would suggest you. I mean that would be my suggestion. Go for a test series. Go for hmm. one from Edutap or whatever. मतलब आपने जिन जिन के नाम सुने हैं, go for it. बट एक्चुअली गो फॉर अटेस्ट सीरीज ये मेरा सजेशन रहेगा मेरे अपने रीजन थे नहीं लेने के इट डज नॉट मीन दैट मतलब फॉर एवरी वन इट विल वर्क आई एम नॉट से फेयर इन ऑफ तो बेसिकली यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट आपके लिए वॉट वर्क राइट ठीक है तो यू हैव टोल्ड अस मेनी मेनी इंपॉर्टेंट हाइलाइट्स ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन राइट व्हाट इवन वर्क फॉर लाइक फेज टू यू सेड बट आई वॉन्ट टू नो दैट हाउ डिड यू प्रिपेयर फॉर योर इंटरव्यू स्टेज इंटरव्यू इंटरव्यू वॉज ऑल्सो डिसंबर में रिजल्ट आए थे 31 दिसंबर को रिजल्ट आए 
एंड देन आई वॉज ऑन अ ट्रेनिंग आई वॉज मेरी ट्रेनिंग चल रही थी तीन महीने की सो देन आई हैड काइंड ऑफ मतलब वो रेगुलेटेड एटमोस्फियर था क्लासेस वगैरह रहते थे तो आई वॉज लाइक ओके चलो बट देन दे टोल्ड अस की मतलब इन द इंटरव्यू थिंग दे टोल्ड अस की द इंटरव्यूज वुड बी हेल्ड इन द लास्ट वीक ऑफ जनवरी सो पैनिक मोड आ गया पूरा का पूरा एंड वट डू डू वट यू डू वट यू डू सो आई जस्ट स्टार्ट गोइंग थ्रू माई फर्स्ट एज वॉज नाबार्ड की वेबसाइट इफ यूर सिंस वी टॉकिंग स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट नाबार्ड का एग्जाम एंड सिंस this is the exam that i have cleared so i would suggest ki nabard ka website nabard ka website is like the makka for uh, for interview preparation yeah. and also mm. nahi not so much like previous wale stages mein utna to nahi but interview ke liye definitely definitely you need to go through the nabard website one of the best websites actually hmm. uh, nabard nabard ka jo user interface and the website the maintenance of all that website i think it's one of the best uh, government organizations ka uh, sabse acha wo dikhta hai easy to navigate easy to find and there are a host of things but uh, then uh, this uh, usme bhi guidance hai ki aapko pura ka pura site nahi padhna what else is that so i started i just started first of january se second of january se i started with the nabard annual report nabard annual report aapko padhna hai do teen cheeze hain jo aapko padhni hai nabard annual report padhni hai aapko uh, state focus papers hota hai wo ye ye do teen jab aap interview pe jayenge and if you uh, when you talk with the uh, friend uh, people who have gotten in uh, you uh, see these uh, videos jo batate hain ki kya kya hai to for interview purposes that was there uh, also um, also what helped was uh, so last week of january mein unhone interview liya nahi and they it just got a uh, corona ka wave chal raha tha so it got delayed 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 there was no communication from uh, nabard so and mera ek mahine ka tour aa gaya so i it uh, preparation went on back foot but then in the middle of Feb- february they gave us a mail ki mera interview march mein hai march mein it, i had my interview on 22nd of march so uh, then also i thought ki chalo theek hai ek mahine hai mere paas prepare karne ke liye then i talked to a couple of friends of mine who had gone select then they gave me the idea mujhe isse pehle pata nahi tha uh, so they told me about these uh, mock interviews that um, edutap and other institutions uh, wo karte hain they they were like ki you just have to contact them ki you've gotten selected and they'll help you uh, all the way so i uh, mailed um, edutap i mailed and then i got a call back and then they were like ki are you interested so they also gave me it helped me not just with the mock interview they gave me uh, pura package mila tha mujhe interview preparation package mila tha uh, what to do what not to do how to dress what not mm-hmm. to wear everything was there everything is so matlab minutely covered pure ke sare sare aspects aapko pani peena chahiye ki nahi interview mein um, and that is also with the like matlab aake khulti hai aapki in cheezon se ki matlab things that you considered matlab normal hai matlab aisa karke तो आई जस्ट रिमेम्बर्ड मैं मैं देख रही थी देर वॉज दिस वीडियो की वॉट यू शुड वे तो आई थिंक अरेगा यूर द वन सो I I I was looking at that and I remember ki Nabard ke interview mein, I went with uh, Indian formals hmm. Matab, uh, uh, this uh, kurtas uh, and pants and all I was not wearing a dupatta hmm. like and then I was like here it was like is it guy is like it did not go to an interview without a dupatta I, I distinctly remember it was like okay so that might have been although I'm not sure that they noticed it or something but it's hmm. something to be kept in mind hmm. ab bilkul hamesha in cheezon ko when there is something like which is wrong matlab um, which is not acceptable say 70% of the time so hmm. why why matlab they hmm. queue lena is queue lena hai wo cheez right. ko This is a very small, small thing. I went through all the videos. I I had one month of time. I contacted them. They sent me the package and all. And I would again. So then, I had my training finished. I was back on job. Leaves ka dikkat tha. Leaves ki bhi dikkat aa gayi thi. So then I had to like uh, baat baat karke, thoda sa karke. Then the uh, leaves got approved. And then I like. Uh, then fir kya hua ki maine nabard ka annual report padha tha and i was watching videos and i thought i was i was on good state but then mera mock interview hua and uh, bahare i was like they was asked the and it was also very nice matlab bahut acha cordial type ka atmosphere tha half an hour mein but they just burnt me to the ground hmm. and then i realized ki 10 din pehle interview ke i i i basically have nothing but uh, then in the last 10 minutes of the interview dono jo sir the unhone bataya ki you go through this you go through this hmm. matlab ye 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 and they also they, and not just that they also told me ki what to uh, work on matlab mera kya acha hai uh, that they asked me to strengthen 
ये तुम स्ट्रेंथन करो ये तुम स्ट्रेंथन करो ये वो एंड देन आल्सो आस्क देम सिंस आई वाज नॉट फुली प्रिपेयर्ड कि आई न्यू दैट दिस क्वेश्चन वुड कम कि व्हाई आर यू चेंजिंग योर जॉब लाइक व्हाई डू यू वांट टू कम टू दैट पार्ट आई वाज लाइक सर आई हैव दिस लाइक आउट दे आल्सो आस्क मी मतलब उन्होंने भी मॉक इंटरव्यू में सबसे पहले यही पूछा एंड देन आई गिव देम माय आंसर बट इट वाज लाइक वेरी देयर सो आई आस्क देम कि सर इसका क्या मैं आंसर दूं दे आल्सो सेड कि योर पॉइंट्स आर देयर but frame it like this the framing hmm. of your answer is uh, like uh, as important as your uh, content itself aap present kaise kar rahe ho apne material ko that is like very very important right. so so they asked me like why do you want to change wo to tumhe pata hona chahiye as like sir mere paas hai but like what do i do they said ki present it in this order in this manner ye batao you they they were the one who opened my eyes ki matlab tum seedha seedha apna personal reason bol ke it's not going to go down there hmm. so uh, mock interviews mock interviews are a life saver मेरे पास टाइम नहीं था बट देन ऑल्सो आई कॉन्टेक्टेड यू पीपल एंड देन मॉक इंटरव्यूज आर अ मस्ट इफ यू बिन सिलेक्टेड फॉर एन इंटरव्यू गो एंड गेट मॉक इंटरव्यूज गो एंड गेट एज मेनी एज मेनी एज यू कैन अगर आप टच में हो गो डू इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स आप मतलब ये वो कोई मतलब वो नहीं है बट इफ यू आर गेटिंग एन अपॉर्चुनिटी डू नॉट लीव जैसे मैंने बोला कि टेस्ट सीरीज आपके पास टाइम नहीं है इट्स नॉट लाइक टेस्ट सीरीज एंड मॉक इंटरव्यूज आर कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट राइट डेफिनेटली डेफिनेट इफ यू हैव even say five days of time before your interview and you, you think you haven't prepared but ek ek mock interview dene se aapke bahut sare uh, points clear ho jate hain panch din mein and then uh, five days ka ekdam pura jeet aur mehnat karke aap uh, if you're pointed in the right direction and if you're going through the right material it can do wonders for you that is what also i mean uh, mere liye bhi mock interview was a very very big part of my hmm. uh, my interview preparation so, so it I, it kind of gives you the reality check you know that what yeah. are you thinking yes. to what are you feeling that this is way my interview will go but they give you a reality check and probably uh-huh. right direction that you know as you said that you had the points uh-huh. but how to put across these things that they are well communicated uh-huh. so mock interviews are a must that is uh-huh. again an important point so once you get selected for interview pehle uh-huh. f- uh, work really hard for phase 1 phase 2 <laughs> when uh, let me tell you when you clear your phase 2 no then you will get a lot of help right <laughs> yes 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 for interviews you can get easily you will get a lot of help but first you have to be there right yeah. so that is a thing and i think yes smock interviews helped you and i'm really glad you watched those videos also right yes. yeah, i did watched all those and i was uh, i was trying to uh, matlab uh, i was trying to look at interview basically concentrate on interviews with uh, people who had previous jobs hmm. ki uh, i mean that was uh, what i was going to hmm. face and uh, I mean, uh, so I was looking at transcripts also. कि क्या है, क्या नहीं है. Sometimes they can just ask you something. Right. एकदम ही. मतलब sometimes interview को as expected. Interviews are like a curveball. कहीं पे भी जा सकते हैं. Hmm. And then uh, you you read. आपने किसी का transcript पढ़ा. आपने सोचा यार ये क्यों पूछ रहे हैं? Hmm. मतलब why is the interview asking about uh, some cricketers uh, score in the last match? They can. I mean, they have the whole. मतलब जैसे my first interview, I simply remember कोई preparation कुछ नहीं था. I was all prepared. I just I was just outside of. I was just uh, out of college. मेरा पूरा agriculture is completely fresh in my mind. I've done my master, so I know my subject well and everything. Uh, I I am a medalist, so it's like you can expect that I was thorough with my subject. And then I enter the room. मैं गई एंड देवर एंड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इंटरव्यू पैनल्स यूज्ड टू बी वेरी बिग सिक्स पीपल यूज्ड टू टेक सिक्स पीपल वेयर देयर सो एंड देन आई सिट आई वाज द लास्ट पर्सन फॉर दैट डे ग्रेट बी का इंटरव्यू था 2017 में एंड देन आई सिट आई एम लाइक ऑल नर्वस एट द 6 बज गए मैं सबसे लास्ट टू यू नो क्या पूछेंगे क्या नहीं एंड नो वन इज अलाउड टू टॉक सो यू डोंट नो आई वाज लाइक मैं एग्रीकल्चर के फैक्ट्स देख रही ये देख रही सब कुछ देख रही प्रोडक्शन वगैरह सब देख रही एंड देन आई गो एंड सिट डाउन and the chairman sir is like okay so now we're bored of talking about subjects you tell me what do you anything apart from your bio data we were just seeing this the matlab he just i i sat down so he's like okay you're from okay so you're a fresher okay so they have the bio data in front of them and chairman sir is like okay now we're bored of talking about people's bio data you tell us something that you want like apart from agriculture and apart from whatever is there in your bio data what do you want to talk about and literally at that point of time pura dimag se kuch nahi aa raha you i i have absolutely no idea ki kya baat karu prepared preparation rehti hai achhi to you can say that you like movies jaise uh, i i um, like a reading pe i'm i'm very big on reading i i love books fiction wagera so ekdam ekdam blank log bolte na sunno jana i was completely sun ab main soch raha hu kya bolu che log baithe hue hain yahan pe 
एंड देन आई डोंट नो रैंडमली मैं आपको सच्ची कहानी बता रही मैं बोलू फिलोसफी मतलब मानना मान मैं तो मतलब मैंने अपने पैर पे गुलाड़ी मार ली बैठे हुए थे Are you familiar with uh, uh, the some obscure philosophist? I mean, the philosopher's name. Bola unhone. And I was like, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know. So then, then he came down. He came down. Is like, have you heard of this? And I was like, yes, sir. I heard. But are you familiar with any of his works? And I was like, no, sir. Then they mm-hmm. got the. I mean, unko pata chal gaya ki like I'm just completely. I mean, wo. Then I have a second interview. Ki kahani batati hu. Then I appeared for grade A after two months. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to prepare my. extra curriculars ki matlab biodata ke bahar ka to us time i did not concentrate on my agriculture <laughs> and you prepared everything about extra curricular <laughs> it's like okay if they ask me if they ask me about i am going to tell them kaun si specific book pe discussion karna hai kaun se game pe discuss clear ke bare mein puri biodata ke matlab puri biodata rat lena hai mere ko ki main iske bare mein baat karungi and then i go and they like okay and then just me baithi like agriculture pe agriculture pe agriculture pe agriculture pe <laughs> what's happening ah so basically you have to have a 360 degree approach exactly. but keep it simple don't yeah. don't you know uh, try to bluff yes think simple very simple and prepare well because that will help you to bring confidence apne yes. aap dikhega you know if yes. you have prepared well yes. that is what happened with you you prepared one set the questions yes. are on the other set completely yes, I'm, 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 i'm telling them uh, i'm telling i mean whoever is listening whoever watches this they they should know that i mean sorry but shit happens मतलब इतना आप सोच नहीं सकते हो इतना गंदा कैसे हो सकता है आई 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 फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू जब उन्होंने फिलोसफी एंड देन दे आस्क मी लाइक ओके यू नो फाइव लैंग्वेज लाइक यस आई नो दैट लाइक आर यू लर्निंग एनीथिंग नो आई वाज टू लिंगो पे सॉरी मैं वो लैंग्वेज सीख रही थी आई वाज लाइक पांच छह क्लासेस अटेंड करे थे आई वाज लाइक वेरी हाई ओके ओके आई एम लर्निंग जर्मन तो मैंने सोचा हाई फाई लगेगा थोड़ा बोल दो एंड देन टर्न आउट वन ऑफ द वन ऑफ द इंटरव्यूज Is telling it was just it was just like one bad step after the other. It was like right. I was just getting myself deeper and deeper into. Hmm. Uh, मतलब जो मतलब until and unless if you're going if you're going to an interview until and unless up. Uh, मैंने अपने for my interview let me be very clear. For my extra curriculars, मैंने तीन extra curriculars चुने. मेरे बहुत सारे hobbies हैं. I, I like but you cannot put everything. You cannot put everything and more importantly you cannot back everything up. Hmm. तो दो तीन चीजें रखो दो दो इनफैक्ट एक भी रखोगे इफ यू वेरी पैशनेट अबाउट समथिंग आप एक भी अपना एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर रखोगे दैट इज गोइंग टू वर्क वंडर्स इफ यू नो इफ यू आर वेल राउंडेड इन इट so for me it was like for the uh, manika kiya ki maine bas uh, so i'm into sports and also i just put uh, like sports tt uh, specifically table tennis and then i put bird watching bird watching is interesting i thought it would be a conversation starter and then kyunki mera wildlife mein also it relates to my wildlife thing so yes. i i have developed it as a hobby karke to so, uh, that so i prepared on it i basically matlab uh, tt mein kya hai what 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 latest happening what are the rules कितने इंच बॉल उछाली जा सकती है एंड ऑल बिकॉज़ यू 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 जस्ट गो इन एंड मैं टीटी खेलती समवन माइट बी आई मीन फ्रॉम माय मेरे मेरे फर्स्ट हैंड एक्सपीरियंस से समवन माइट जस्ट बी देयर प्लेज टीटी ऑन एन एमेचर लेवल मतलब खेल रहे हो हो सकता है नेशनल्स को रिप्रेजेंट किया सो आप एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर्स दे रहे हो आपने कॉलेज में डिबेट वगैरह किया है बिल्कुल डालो बट आई वुड सजेस्ट अगर आप बैकअप नहीं कर पाओगे उसको कॉन्वर्सेशन में इट्स बेटर टू अवॉइड इट राइट Fair mm. enough. Fair enough. So, so to sum up for the interview preparation, Nabard website you said is the very, very yes. important thing. Yes. Go through yes. the Nabard website. अच्छे से. Uh, mm. Nabard annual report is there. State Bilkul, focus Bilkul. papers are there. Uh-huh. So you must go through them. Then uh-huh. second is prepare your bio data really well. Whatever you mm-hmm. you put in your bio data, you should be thorough with it. You cannot just write to impress. They are not going to be impressed with that. Rather, ah. you should be able to back up, back it up. Whatever you write there. And third, you said that mock interviews really help. After your preparation, after after going through Nabard website and all, take mock interviews so that you get uh to understand that are you even in the right direction or not. Yes, yes, yes. 
I mean, for example, uh, मतलब क्या हुआ मॉक मॉक इंटरव्यू से पहले आई हेड रेड द होल नाबार्ड एनुअल रिपोर्ट एंड देन आई वुड कीप इट मम्बलिंग टू माई सेल्फ फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर्स मतलब मेरे को लगा कि मेरा हो गया है आई एम डन विद नाबार्ड एनुअल रिपोर्ट एंड देन मॉक इंटरव्यू में क्या वो सर इज आस्किंग मी फ्रॉम ही इज आस्किंग मी फ्रॉम द एनुअल रिपोर्ट बट टर्न आउट की मैंने जिन फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर्स पे कॉन्सेंट्रेट किया था लाइक द थिंग्स दैट आई थॉट वर गोइंग टू कम इन द मीटू वेर नॉट कमिंग ही आस्किंग मी समथिंग वेरी अलग अलग चीजें पूछ रहे थे सो यू हैव टू नो कि What are relevance? Relevance क्या आपको पूरा का पूरा नाबार्ड एनुअल रिपोर्ट रटना नहीं है नहीं रटना बिकॉज दैट्स अ बिग बिग बुक एंड दैट इज नॉट आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू की कोई भी आपको सजेस्ट नहीं करेगा बट वन चाहिए प्रॉपर गाइडेंस की आपको ये 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 चीजें देखनी है इंटरव्यू ट्रांसक्रिप्ट आप बिल्कुल बिल्कुल पहले के इंटरव्यू जो लोग इंटरव्यू में जैसे मे बी समन वॉचेज दिस इंटरव्यू विल गेट टू नो की थोड़ा सा कुछ पॉइंट मिल जाए कैसे मे बी विदाउट अ टेस्ट सीरीज एंड कैसे विदाउट अ कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड ऑल दैट दे सो दे माइट गेट अ हेल्प मेरे को बहुत सारी हेल्प मिली थी बिकॉज आई सो अलॉट ऑफ इंटरव्यूज विद पीपल हु आर वर्किंग लाइक दे स्विच टू अबाउट फ्रॉम प्रीवियस वर्क सो दे सो दे गेव मी एन आइडिया की कैसे आंसर करना है वाई वाई द स्विच क्यू कर रहे हो दैट हेल्प मी फॉर्म माई बायोडेटा बायोडेटा आप ऐसे भरो भी मत हैव इट वेरी बहुत डेलिबरेट भर भरना इज अ लाइक फिलिंग अप योर बायोडेटा इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टास्क I mean, mm-hmm. being thorough with it, तो बाद में आएगा वो तो है ही बट यू हैव टू बी लाइक हाउ डू यू पुट इट आप कैप्स में डाल रहे हो वन थिंग वॉज दैट की फॉर माई सेल्फ मैंने क्या किया ड्राफ्ट में आई वॉज फिलिंग इट अप एंड आई वॉज फिलिंग इट अपल इन कैप्स पूरा का पूरा ऑल इन कैप्स एंड देन थैंकफुली माई हजबेंड सोइ एंड ही वॉज लाइक ये क्या कर वाई यू शाउटिंग एट द इंटरव्यूअर्स सो एज लाइक दैट थिंग दैट थिंग इट कम्प्लीटली आप मतलब जब आपके दिमाग में इतनी सारी चीजें रहती हैं तो यू काइंड ऑफ Uh, miss out on very sim- very simple things and all that mm-hmm. so have people to look at your progress have right. people to look uh, how you are progressing and all that if you have coaching uh, very good well matlab bilkul jaiye aap koi dikkat nahi hai but always have a third person to look at your preparation kyunki hum log kafi myopic ho jate hain apne preparation mm-hmm. right that is a lovely thing that always take help from your friends family members <laughs> peers whatever it will be as you said it will be a third eye and it will help you somewhere which you are missing out probably mm-hmm. right so that too was a lovely conversation we discussed a lot about we tried to touch subjects uh, you know how uh, the time management how to r- approach these subjects and how did you manage your interview as well so i hope that people like this video right yeah. so uh, <laughs> yes so i think uh, uh, th- this is it from our end we have discussed a lot and we would like to thank you again for coming here Thanks and so sharing your strategy and we would also like to wish you all the best as a grade day officer we Thanks hope so you are going to do wonders even there in your job <laughs> <laughs> hopefully i like uh, thanks for all the wishes and i hope uh, whoever is watching this they have my best wishes and i'll just i'll just ask them from my personal interview don't lose hope actually don't lose don't lose hope this was my this was my last attempt i uh, did not make that clear this was my last attempt after this year after 2021 i would not have been able to even appear for nabard but then i was like so i cleared the pre i was like okay okay now means now means now means okay then means okay interview interview and even after taking the interview i was like let's not be very hopeful i don't didn't want to jinx it so i was like okay theek hai if if anyone was asking me how was the interview i was like i did my i did it ha i i did it as well as i could now i don't know what's the perception of it so anyone watching this do not do not lose hope and keep filling forms taking exams just just keep doing it Yeah. one or the other is bound to work out yes thank you again thank you for the okay. valuable suggestions and uh, it was a nice conversation have a nice day yeah then yeah. nice day okay. to bye 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 bye